Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. channel. So video looks a bit different today. Portrait anyway, which it usually wouldn't be. And it must be quite dark and not great quality right now because the power's off and I'm really cold. It is actually according to my phone 25 degrees, but it does not feel it. My um, dad feels sick. Yeah, Adam's a little bit poorly. We've had like, we've all had like, they call it flu here, but you know, it's just like a common cold going around. I think everyone I know has had it. So we've all got that, but that's not why I'm cold. It's just, you would not believe how cold it feels in Uganda when like the sun goes away and it's, you know, about to rain. Anyway, we have had so much going on recently. Some things you know of, like the car situation, and that has been going to court, and we will update you on it as soon as possible. But we've had so many other things happening too, and I just can't believe it. Um, all at once, we will be updating you all with what's going on in future videos, but today I didn't have a video ready. But what I do have is we have been making lots of day in the life videos of all our village trips recently, which have been over on TikTok. And I know lots of you aren't on TikTok, so I thought I would share them here today instead. And that's why it's portrait, because they are all portrait. But basically we have been spending a lot of time in the village recently because a very kind donor gave us some money to get started with a small building project where we are building kennels for the rescue dogs that we look after. So we're just trying to get things there resettled. We have had these dogs for so many years, so many years, and we have had new ones come as well, but we just wanna get that place in a condition and a way and set up so that we're not needed there because that's like the aim for all these things. So um, yeah, I'm going to say bye now, but I hope you enjoyed the videos and seeing all the progress we have made building in the village. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys. Today we headed into the village. So this is where we look after our rescue dogs. Hi hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Hey, good girl. Hey, you darling. Hey, you darling. Hey, you. Hey, Jira. Hey, good girl. Hey, Jira. Hey, good girl. Hey, you darling. We are starting to build a little bit on the land. We are putting a driveway down and we are also going to be building some kennels for the dogs. Lots of the stones for the driveway were broken too small to be used for the ground so the builders are making this little sort of boundary wall thing around all the flower beds with them. This is the spot where we're going to build the kennels. We had some more deliveries of sand for the building works. This is the puppy that had Parvo and we almost lost her. And then I took the puppies on a dog walk with Zira. Zira is such a good girl, so she's a good example for them. Then we had a delivery of some dog and puppy food. Which they thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> My little Gus. And then we started measuring up with the builders for the kennels. This work will start properly on Friday. Then there was a big drama because some young boy stole one of the puppies and we did manage to get him back, but yeah, we weren't very happy about it and Josh really wanted to get down to the bottom of who exactly stole him. <laughs> Then it was time to go home. At this point, my feet were absolutely filthy and we had to really rush home because I had tutoring. Hi. Hello. Hi. Mommy, I was missing you. Please, Hello. I, mommy, mommy, please, can I do work on my item? Nope. Please, no. please. No. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Mm -hmm. This is my mommy who adopted me. Okay. That was our day and I was exhausted. So another day and back to the village again, but this time we had Tally in tow because she did not have school. Of course, we had to stock up on lots of snacks for the journey. <laughs> Shapati, water. <laughs> 
<laughs> and soon enough she fell straight asleep. And then it was my favourite part of the day, which is arriving and being greeted by all our gorgeous dogs. And the builders were starting to make lots of progress. All the foundations had been built for the kennels and Josh was just making sure they knew exactly what it is that we wanted. <laughs> Time for lunch for the pups and then it was time to start getting the metal poles in place and we were just really trying to oversee this and make sure that they were straight. And if I give you a job, a very important job, and then if you do a good job, we buy you soda. Yes. Good plan? So you need to find a cavella and I want you to pick all the plastic rubbish from the compound. Okay. Do you know what plastic rubbish is? Yes. Show me an example. What's plastic rubbish? Is that one plastic? I think that's not plastic. Show me plastic. Like, look, come. Look. Even that, that could be rubbish there. That's poison. Or things like this. Look, like this. Or like all these plastic cabanas. Yeah, like this. Then we decided to enjoy a beer together in the shade. No, no. How are you? Fine. What have you been doing? Playing. With what? Dogs. Dogs. Dog, dog. Puppies. Puppies. Who is your favourite? Have you got a favourite puppy? Prince? You yes. Get, you go get Prince. You show everyone Prince. Go get Prince. <laughs> He's almost as big as you now. He's very heavy. <laughs> He's, He's very pretty. Heavy. But he's almost growing. He's growing big, isn't even, he? Even even jumps. Mm. He was so small before. Ah. Ah. I can't carry him. It's too heavy. Then we had a carpenter come because some of the timbers had fallen out of this little side gate. So he put some new ones in for us. And oh, these four pups. These are the ones that were staying at our house for a while. And oh, I just love them so much. And they're so cute. Then it was time for Josh to have some very serious conversations because there is an opportunity for us to get electricity installed on the land. But yeah, whilst Josh was having all these serious conversations with builders and electricians and everything, I was just busy loving on the dogs. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Hiya. How are we doing, girl? How are we doing? And that was it, and we'll be back in a couple of days to see the progress. We took all four kids with us to the village this time. I got a coffee because I really needed it. What are you eating, Adam? Apple. I'm eating crisps. Adam kept wanting to hold my hand on the journey, which was extremely cute. And then his shoes broke, so we stopped in a centre on the way to get him some more sliders. And he chose these TikTok ones, which I thought was very apt. Then we headed on to our sanctuary, and the children were reunited with their puppies. <laughs> the building of the kennels is really coming along now. And then it was time for lunch for our lovely doggies. This is Finn, our two slash three-legged furry friend who has quite the story. And then the welders came to start working on the frame for the roof. Is Rosie special? Yes, she is. A little tough girl. A little tough girl. Mm -hmm. We then headed back to the near trading centre to get some more pipes for the roof. And these were tied onto a boda who delivered them for us. Hello, my best mummy in the world. Because she, she, she made for us the food. best mummy in the world. And she. I think the dogs are begging you for food right now. Hey. What are you eating? What is this? This is chapati. What, what food is this? Katago and, and beans. They've also got chapati. <laughs> you guys are really clean, eh? No. Hmm? Very dirty. Very dirty. No, don't let the dog. No. 
It was then time to cook the evening meal for the dogs. And the welders were hard at work. We even used the headlights on the car so they could work into the evening. And that was the end of the day. We were headed to the village again and this time we decided to take our two dogs, Toto and Kovu. We left little Lecky behind, which I felt really bad about, but we weren't really sure how he'd get on with all the rescue dogs, whereas these two have met them many times before. So we headed down the dusty roads to get there again and again. Always my favourite part is when they all come running up to us. Kovu had vomited in the crack of the car, which was lovely, but yeah. The dogs were a little bit unsure at first, but they were all absolutely fine. Kovu here is meeting Finn, these two I hadn't met before. Always get followed around everywhere I go. And then we went to check on the progress of the kennel building. And yeah, we're really starting to get somewhere with it. They'd put up the majority of the scaffolding. And then this poor chicken had a bad foot and was lame and so the dogs were disturbing her so I carried her around for a while. This was another delivery of some cement and then I had my Gus Cuddles. I know I probably shouldn't have a favourite but oh, I do love him so much. Here's Toto just chilling whilst Josh bosses all the builders about and this is the young boys making the cement because on this day they started to plaster. More cuddles with Gus whilst I was overseeing the builders and then the builders all started arguing about food. I have no idea what they were saying. Then we had lots of new collars which we put on the dogs that either didn't have any or theirs really needed replacing. Yiki! Looking pretty! Hey Dig Digs! Is it the right size? Fire! Yeah. And they all look super smart. Here's Finn, making it really hard for Josh to put a collar on him because he just wanted a belly rub. You're a pretty girl. Nice pretty bit of collar. A kind donor also sent some money to get some of the boys who were working some shoes, so we lined them all up to make note of their sizes. And this is Rosie, our absolute troublemaker. She is a right pain. We love her, but yes, she was disturbing the chickens, so we harnessed her up for a little while. And the builders were making huge progress with the plastering, as well as the welders with the rails. Then Josh and I cleaned out Zira's ears. They were really hurting her, so we we're trying to see what was really going on in there. <laughs> We head back home. Oh, it's stinky. <laughs>